Hi, this is Tim Santoni and welcome to Santoni Spotlight. Today, I'm joined by James Tunkey. James, thanks so much for joining the show. Hey, Tim. James is uh, joining us from, uh, coming in from New York. He is the CEO of Ion Asia. Before we get started, I want James to give a little context, background on himself and how he came to be, you know, in charge over Ion Asia. Well, I'm uh, the number two at Ion Asia, which is a Hong Kong headquartered international uh, focused investigations company. And we've been around since 2001. And I think, you know, Tim, we've worked together for almost 12 years now. It's really wonderful. So how did you end up um, in 2001 starting up Ion Asia? What led you to that point? Or? I joined Ion Asia uh, really from Pinkerton, which is a big security company where I was head of uh, business intelligence and investigations out in Hong Kong. And before that, I was with another big company called Kroll, where I was a director for Asia. And um, really, my focus has always been uh, protecting people and uh, their investments out in Asia. In your practice at Asia, I know that international things in, in Asia is a specialty, but what are maybe the top two or three things that you really enjoy doing and working with clients that kind of brings you, brings them the most value and the most enjoyment in, in your world? Well, I love figuring things out. Uh, so uh, looking for money uh, that's been stolen, uh, investigating fraud is something that I love doing. Uh, I love being able to uh, break apart how a, a money has been stolen and uh, unfortunately, I've worked on some really big cases where a lot of money's been stolen. So, uh, hunting for uh, assets internationally and uh, uh, looking for uh, things even here in the United States with you is something I really like doing. Very good, very good. So, you know, being U.S. based, I think that one of the concerns or, or risks that kind of our clients here have, and we've talked about a little bit, is, is you know, foreign investment and money coming in and kind of vetting that. So maybe give you know, our viewers a good sense of kind of how you guys can impact, you know, from an international perspective and protect the interests of, of folks that are doing business or, or want to do business in the U.S. Sure. Well, the U.S. is a, a great place to do business, and uh, there's always a lot of reasons why foreigners would come into the United States. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of really uh, wealthy people internationally who uh, want to put their money into a safe place, uh, California being one, but just in general, uh, New York, uh, where I am, but across the United States. Uh, people like the United States to come and do business and so as an American kind of raised you know it used to be that most Americans didn't have passports and they're not always used to foreigners coming in and offering them money so that can be a really scary thing you know for business owners who've uh, built up their businesses or uh, owned a large amounts of property that uh, have a foreigner come in and offer money is uh, something that uh, people aren't always used to and you know you hear the horror stories about uh, people laundering money or people being fraudsters and so um, you know you have to look at the opportunity and just kick the tires a little bit and make sure that people are legitimate and um, you know that's where people like us come in. So over in Asia, I mean, give give our viewers a sense of kind of international risk factors that, that face your clients over there. Maybe the top two or three things that you're dealing with on a pretty regular basis that are, that are maybe either new or, or have been going on for quite some time. Well, corruption's a problem, you know, uh, uh, taking bribes, giving bribes. Uh, these are problems in, in Asia. And so, you know, in the U.S., we've got some pretty strong laws about uh, doing business with corrupt people. And you can't take cash from uh, people that's been um, stolen uh, from another country or uh, has been uh, earned uh, improperly. So you have to be careful you're not dealing with corrupt people. And uh, corruption is a problem in Asia. And I would say the second really is just it's more about uh, you know the people factor. Not everybody's wired like you. You know it's great to know you and you're just you and your father are tremendous uh, businessmen. But you'll just have great moral ethic and uh, it's it's a pleasure to work with you. And not everybody has partners like that. So you know the conduct of background investigations really involves looking at people and leadership. Where do people come from? Uh, how do they get into this business? What quality are they? How do they treat their staff? Where did the money come from? And uh, these are simple questions that, you know, if you're in a small town, you can answer just by going down and having a cup of coffee in the morning. But, you know, if, if you're talking about a multi-million dollar project and the investors are coming in from Singapore or China, you know, you need a little help doing that. And that's, that's where I come in. Uh, but, um, you know, I would say that, uh, you know, looking at, a love for family and protecting them that uh, one of the other things that I tend to focus on is is people going to major games uh, like the Olympics and uh, uh, people going to major sporting events and uh, that's one of the 
things I do very well is help protect foreign companies uh, when they are sponsoring major sporting events to uh, keep their people safe. James, thanks so much for taking the time to come on the show. We appreciate it. Hey, nice to see you again. We'll link up all of James' information in the show notes below. If you have any questions, please leave comments there and we'll get back to you.